Hi Pisces, welcome to Higher Source Tarot. For a Law of Attraction Tarot and Oracle card reading for February 2024, these readings will be for all Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We will have both a Money and a Love reading. I've also linked a Law of Attraction message in the description box below if you're interested in listening to that. And if you don't mind hitting the like button, I sure appreciate it. It helps so that the reading gets in the algor algorithm and people will see it. All right, what advice do you have for Pisces to attract financial abundance and prosperity? What does Pisces need to know about money, please? We will lay out the tarot here and I'm going to pull a fortune oracle card as well. All right, we've got the mountain here. Know that you are protected as you face challenges, but remain cautious. All right, let's see what that's about. You've got temperance here. The four of wands, the two of wands, I like it. Oh, I pulled two, so we're gonna take them both. Six of swords, eight of wands. So you have communication coming in here. I'll tell you what, oh, I have to do it, I have to. You've got the three of wands. Why is this important? We have the two, three, four of wands. So the two of wands is like planting the seeds, taking a look at the landscape, seeing what you want in life. And the three of wands is knowing that it's yours. Now the four of wands, that's the celebration of it all. That's having it all. And the four of wands is very strong law of attraction energy. So I'll tell you what, Pisces, you are about to make big time gains. If you're, you have cards of travel and moving here. So if you're planning a trip, it's going to be fantastic, like the trip of a lifetime. Yeah, I also feel like, though, too, somebody here with the Eight of Wands, it may be kind of a last-minute trip, but I feel like it's just what you need. Now, if it's something with a move, I feel like you are going to move forward, but you're going to find that with this, it, it's going to be fantastic if it's a physical move or if it's a move with a job. Now, if you're trying to plan a business as well, there's something about this planning that's very important. So I do want to say with this energy of Sagittarius here, temperance energy, this is about going with the flow. It's that energy, though. You see that path in the backdrop? It heads right to the dawn of a new day, but the path isn't exactly straight. So sometimes we might have to take some twists and turns getting to where we want, but it's all right. You're on the right path. I want to tell you too, though, the Archangel Michael is also in charge of repairs. So even on the mundane level, if you have a mechanical issue or some other kind of repair, this will bring in exactly the right person that you need to repair it. Now, if you're doing something where you want to be some kind of you know, computer expert or even corrective colorist, like in hair or even physical therapy or something where you're repairing the body. I hear, I heard wounded healer, wounded healer, they keep saying it. And so if there's something about that, even if you say, yeah, I had a horrible hair experience, so I got a, my grandma tried to give me a perm and it burned all my hair off, you know, that kind of stuff. Okay, if there's something driving you forward in your career from your past, I do feel like there's something about that. But again, this four of wands, you're on the right path. But I'll tell you what with this, the other thing about it is there's going to be more. So even if you lost a job, because they kept saying wounded, even if something happened that wasn't fair on some level, you're going to end up being, this is a stepping stone. You're going to get more than you would have had staying in the situation. Even if it was a house too, the two of wands, he holds the world in his hand but he wants a bigger world. It's the card of the visionary. So your dreams are going to become a rea reality here. Your thoughts will become things with that two of wands. And these two and the advice, you're moving forward. The eight of wands brings quick and sudden change, but it is, look at how those wands are all aligned. They're not, they're not scattered and crooked. They're taking off in perfect flight. And with the Six of Swords, if you did have some kind of a setback with money or a job, you're going to move forward and you've learned some lessons. You've learned those lessons well. So I do feel like with that, you're done learning the lessons and it's going to be a whole hell of a lot easier moving forward. So let's see now what you need to know about love. 
What else? What advice do you have for Pisces? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus to attract the love of their lives into their lives. Messages for Pisces about love. All right, same setup where we're going to do a four card reading here with one from Louise Hay this time. These have been shuffled. This is from Life Loves You. I am willing to love myself because you got to let it begin with you, don't you? Look in the mirror and say to yourself, I love you. I really love you. Don't be shy. It's just another way of saying life loves you. Now, this is, comes from an activity or an exercise that Louise Hay coined called mirror work. And you might see that on other law of attraction channels and things like that, but she was the creator. So in the past, you got the three of swords. Let's keep that there. The ace of swords, nine of pentacles, and your advice is the knight of swords. So seeking the truth. Well, I see this in the past here as a betrayal, as perhaps not wanting to let go of something in the past. If there was a third party too with this and it was absolutely devastating for you, I feel like you're gonna it's time to move forward. You're gonna break the you're gonna break the invisible cord that is tying you to this three of swords energy. Because with this, it's real heartache, it's real wounds, but we've got to let go of it so that you can find real love. So the Ace of Swords offers a new beginning, but you've got these Yodes or Yods of the Tarot. So if you did do something like you you blocked a person, you took them out of their contacts, you got rid of things like they had old clothes at your house or other reminders that if you met somebody new, it would be probably hard to explain why you still had all this stuff. I feel like they're saying you're free of that and it's time to begin in a brand new way. Now, the person that you're attracting may want to move kind of quickly, but I also want to tell you they they come with great intentions. It's somebody you can trust. It's somebody who's very straightforward and communicates very easily. So with this Ace of Swords, you may find that they're also an intellectual match for you. And if somebody here, I keep seeing like word games, crossword puzzles or some of the online puzzles like connections or Wordle or something like that, or even like an anagrams thing. If the two of you do this thing where you text back and forth puzzles with each other. Um, hey, I think it's cute if that's you. But I will say with this Nine of Pentacles, now she can be the single lady card, but she does have a companion, all right? I feel like you're going to bring in somebody who will absolutely dote on you. And they may do things too where it may not be terribly expensive gifts, but it could be. Um, but where they'll give you gifts, they'll give you gift like could be gifts of service, but I get it more like monetary things, little things that they think would make you smile. And so with this, you're going to be attracting a lot of attention. So don't be surprised if you have more than one person who's interested in you. And you may also, too, with this, be attracting somebody who's an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Cap. That would be nice. I feel like they're very much, though, somebody who's in their own power. They're not dependent on anybody. This is not somebody that doesn't have a place to live or doesn't have a car, or doesn't have a license. They have their act together. And nothing against people who don't have those things. But if you have all that, you might find that's not a match. And that's okay. But I do feel like with this, it is attracting somebody who's got their life together. The Knight of Swords, though, wants to move quickly. The Knight of Swords is the one that says, let's get behind the wheel of, I heard a Camaro. Do they make Camaro still? I knew somebody that bought one like 10 years ago. I don't know if they're still making them. But like wants to move fast, okay? So they may come in and want to just sweep you right away. I'm telling you what, they're going to be very upfront about their feelings. So brace yourself on that if you're like, oh, God, that might scare me away. Well, um, you know what? At least you know where they're coming from. All right, this is from Ask and It Is Given from Abraham Hicks. I am a vibrational transmitter and receiver. Well, you bet you are. In every moment, you are broadcasting a very specific vibrational signal that is instantly being understood and answered. And immediately, your present and future circumstance begin changing in response to the signal you are projecting. The entire universe right now is being affected by what you are offering because you're a part of this. The universe is not just around you. It is you. So good things are on the way for you, Pisces. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.